Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Well, the big question today is, when is it going to happen? When is the big flow of 2020 going to hit? A lot of questions from new beekeepers ask, when does the flow start? But it's different all over the country. And what I'm asking for people to do today, and this will give everyone, it'll help everyone out, it'll give everybody a heads up, Wherever you're at in the country, if you have a chance to see red maple, blooming, hembit, or anything that the bees are feeding on or starting to feed on in this early nectar flow starting here, probably here in a couple of weeks. This is our red maple tree. I'm so fortunate to have this thing in my yard because when it busts open, I just, I get so excited because you'll come out here and the bees, will, they'll be all over this red maple. Red maple is one of the first things that bees uh, go to. Now as far as hembit goes, I I honestly don't see a whole lot of activity on hembit. Uh, a lot of people report that they do. Uh, I, I just don't see it as much and I'm thinking what it is is because this blooms here about the same time we do have some hembit bloomed right now. And uh, I'll go up here and scroll through the yard, and some people uh, uh, swear that they uh, tear it up in their yard, and maybe it's the type of hembit that we have. I don't know. But I, I rarely see any bees on hembit. But red maple, absolutely. Anything that pretty much pops through the ground, that's a flower source. Dandelions. I see them all over the dandelions when they pop through, and they've been through pretty much all winter here. They're kind of spread apart a little bit. But they've pretty much, even the coldest it's got is hit about 15 degrees. And uh, here in a little bit, I'll show you. I'm pretty sure I got still a couple down there in the field. But, uh, but one thing, I, the big issue, and a lot of people talk about on YouTube, uh, yeah, you do got to be careful what you listen to sometimes. And, you know, the people telling you not to feed pollen throughout the winter, to me, it's crazy. It don't make sense at all. That's a, uh, uh, and I'll tell you why. Why would you start feeding it when the when the red maple blooms? Because bees will absolutely stop taking it when the red maple blooms. So if you're waiting for the red maple to bloom to start feeding pollen, it doesn't make any sense. You should have it out then, absolutely. And the reason being, when you have cold, uh, days that are uh, rainy, where it disables the natural pollen source, they will go to that feed. Um, that time of year, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise putting uh, pollen patties unless, now, now we're talking about when the red maple blooms here. And I'm not talking in general, uh, middle of February in New York state. I'm talking about when your flow starts. So I didn't want people to get confused saying, well, I can't feed outside pollen because they, they, they don't do cleansing flights like they do here, here in the South. That's true. Uh, we're very fortunate that we can do that. Uh, some states you may have to use pollen patties. And I understand that because the bees <laughs> don't get very many cleansing flights. Here, they get a lot of cleansing flights. Ooh, Lizzie, the bee dog listening. Well, she's not listening. She's getting old. She can't hear very well anymore. But, uh, but yeah, she's always following me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, back to that. Uh, look, you do what you want to do. But I'm just telling you years and years of experience. Uh, these bees will come out of winter thriving a lot stronger when you feed them the pollen than when without. I've seen it year after year after year. Uh, you can't go by what you're reading the books. Uh, only your only experience will teach you stuff like that, and that's just what I'm teaching you, is what I've experienced year after year. So, if you want thriving bees, start. I offer it to them honestly. My feeder never leaves the yard. I offer it to them year round. Uh, as long as you can keep it dry, it does well and it stays good. But I'm gonna show you as soon as this. As soon as this opens up, and we'll see bees out here, I'm going to take you straight to the feeder, and I'm going to show you here in a couple of weeks when this happens. So let's go down the feeder. It's cold today. They are flying, but but barely. It's about barely 50 degrees, I think. It's pretty chilly out here. Well, looking across the bee yard, I see quite a bit of activity. Now, it is cold and windy. It's uh, there's a lot of bees flying right there. I hope it picks up on the camera. 
but there's quite a bit flying for for today as being barely 50 if it is the wind's blown the sun's out which is good warming up the hives a little bit but it's pretty cold out but i see a lot of activity right there but on the feeder there's a uh, not much not much at all now i know the red maple hasn't bloomed yet in my yard but if you would wherever you're at in the country please report back this will help out every beekeeper in the country especially the ones let's say for example somebody's in a, a subdivision or some that doesn't have a red maple visually that they can see now of course they can see the bees bringing in pollen which will give them a heads up but if you're somewhere where you can see the red maple bloom let us know and uh, or if you see your bees bringing in pollen let us know in the country report that uh, in the comments and that'll help out a lot of beekeepers to be able to go read those comments and then I advise people go read the comments read the comments and that way because I got reports when I asked about the, the cold how cold it was and you can look at the comments in that last video and they are packed with comments and I, I thank you all and appreciate that and it gives everybody a heads up and an idea you know I got some reported temperatures minus 60 some degrees crazy and uh Man, hats off to you if you're keeping your bees, to, you know, because that, that would that would take some, uh, a lot of work, a lot of, uh, but but people do it. So I know in, in a, a lot of states, they have to actually put their bees up for the winter on pallets. They'll put them in uh, storage buildings to keep the wind and to keep a, a temperature, maybe a little bit above freezing inside of the, or not above freezing, above zero in the, some of these storage buildings because they don't hardly do any cleansing flights so there's no chance of them uh, coming out of the hive and getting mixed up and not knowing where to come back to so but anyway i wanted to show that and let's look at the hen bit down here and see what it looks like okay here's the hen bit that's coming up uh in bloom the, the, this yard is about packed full with him but it's everywhere but don't see any bees on any of it and of course this is right here in the yard and i know how a lot of times bees don't like to forage in their own yard i understand that but even with uh flowers in your yard and your own fruit trees you know you'll see you'll see bees foraging and getting pollen from those and if they was outside bees well that'd be be outside bees coming here so that kind of debunks that but you can see a lot of a lot of hemp but but a lot of it too is not open good you can see that too it's still uh not quite open but let me know too if you have luck with uh with the bees feeding on your hemp but i do see it some but it's not as it's not as much as I, that you would think and and the reason like I said the reason I'm thinking like this is this is closed up now so in two weeks if this is open by then and the red maple's blooming you know maybe it's just area to area that they're taking the the red maple over the hem but right there's a dandelion and they would see one usually these ones that you see survive of course it's like it's in the winter time anyway very low to the ground you can see they they don't uh pop up real high like they do in the summertime just barely low and it's sometimes it'll protect it from the freezes so report back to me see what you let's help each other out i, I believe by sharing knowledge like that that'll help out the new beekeepers and uh especially the new beekeepers that have no idea what's going on from time to time and don't forget folks if you would help share our videos and don't forget about our uh bees for sale at barnyard bees packages nukes beekeeping supplies and that's about it don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees